Well, I hope you're not struggling as much as this radar is trying to depict precipitation types across southern Ontario. It's a bit of a circus here, but we are looking at a wintry mix and essentially a wintry mix pushing across southern Ontario through Wednesday afternoon. Now we've highlighted the trouble spots, highways 6, 8, 10, and even 400. And guess what? Storm hunter Mark Robinson is in the midst of those ice pellets Wednesday afternoon. Let's check in with Mark. We're starting to see some of those ice pellets start to accumulate on the roadways. Yeah, I'm going to be the human radar and I'm going to like look around. Yep, ice pellets. Yep, more ice pellets. Yep, more ice pellets. Yeah, I'm actually in Fergus right now. And it has been a bit of a mix on the way up from Guelph to Fergus. Uh, a little bit of freezing rain. Now all ice pellets uh, likely going to stay that way for at least a, a while through the afternoon. Uh, but as we get into the evening, we're going to see if that switch over back to, ra to freezing rain. I've seen a little bit of that. Not too bad. But the one thing I am noticing is the roads are freezing up. So there's definitely ice on the roads. So I, at this point, I'm a little out of practice, Tyler, because I haven't actually been out in action of weather for the longest time so winter sort of went yeah and jumped on me so that is why i am finally out here in the active weather in fergus today. you'll be able to shake off the rest or rather ice pellets mark thank you so much for that update now we'll time out the rest of this really messy warm front wednesday evening conditions start to deteriorate across eastern ontario so that will take up take up some of our focus here timing this out seven eight o'clock it's going to start as wet snow Pushing through the Ottawa, very greasy roadways in and around the capital region through much of Thursday morning where we're forecasting about 10 centimeters of snow for Algonquin, 5 centimeters for Ottawa, and then the freezing rain locally up to 5 millimeters across the highest terrain of southern Ontario.